hello guys uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a stored procedure in Postgre Postgre SQL uh, in Postgre uh, there actually there there is function also the difference between function and stored procedure is very simple in a uh, function that turns some result and procedure doesn't return anything okay let's get started uh, first uh, when creating a uh, function or start procedure in Postgre you can use a, a tool like the beaver just like what I'm, I'm using now you can uh, just go to your uh, browse to your schema then uh, go to uh, function folder then create choose create function okay then, uh, you can uh, let's say we call it my fu my function my pump okay then uh, language is p l p g s q l then the turn let's say we want to the turn table put here table then uh, bar car let's say in our co uh, table we have three columns okay for simplicity let's uh, use bar car type okay. then click ok so let's go to the source code so basically this is the the script refresh and let's copy it okay so this is the script to create the function or yeah start procedure if you want to call it like that okay so in this demo I, i'll show you how to create table then in that table we will insert some data then after inserting data we will uh, fetch data from that table using this uh, function okay so let's get started uh, okay uh, to create table you can just use the ui also create table let's say Table. Click column. Sorry, guys, I'm not familiar with this uh, tool. Maybe I, I will just use a, a script or command like create table, okay? Anyway, it's easy to create table using a SQL command. I think I have, uh, let's use some, I have some script here. Okay, so to, to create a table, the command is create table, then the name of the table. In this, in our demo, we will use this switch table. Then we have three columns job name active passive all of them are bar card type okay so let's create it okay so the table is created then now let's refresh our ui and see if the table is created yeah, okay so the table is created successfully okay so now it's empty right so uh, uh, using this uh, script we are going to uh, populate this table and after populating this table we will also retrieve the table so, so this is the script uh, let's say uh, the first we will pass the data that we're going to insert in the table okay so we call it job name bar car then uh, active Right. 
So after passing that, we will return returns table okay the table will return the same okay then of course we have to the turn table here right so here we should have the turn query select asterisk from switch table so uh, this will return all the contents of the table right so so this is the, this uh, the turns table. This is like the declaration. So we expect the function is expecting to the turn table, right? So this is the actual data that we're going to return. Okay. So. Okay. So now let's insert data. How to insert? this with a job name then active to avoid uh, confusion let's make it di uh, different from the actual column name okay so let's put some underscore so it means this is the parameter we pass job name active then passing so basically we will insert data to our table to our uh, switch table so insert then the value is coming from uh, our parameter okay so after inserting we want to uh, select to that table okay so let's run this command all right so let's test our start procedure function let's say job job one let's stay in any data any dummy data we can put for active and passive column okay so we expect after running this uh function we expect one record right so currently our table is empty so once we run the, the function uh, we insert one table ah uh, one record okay so let's run it all right so now we have one record let's add more okay now we have two records okay let's check again the table actual table see as you can see we have two records okay i think that's all uh, uh, again uh, when creating a function you can use a tool like dbber or you can create uh, you can use a script like this okay because uh, the ui also supports some some uh, fun some function where you can create a function or procedure right but in my case i just uh, use a script okay so i think that's all guys thank you very much for watching this video and see you again soon thank you bye bye